wait, so how long were you gone again? Like a half a week, right? Nah, two weeks. I was gone two weeks, man. Oh my God. Yeah. You know, like when, whenever I go on vacation, I can never stay for more than a week. Honestly, this is my this is my opinion. Uh-huh. I don't even think anybody should go on vacation for more than a few days. Bro. Yeah, yeah, that's just my opinion. Because mm-hmm. how long do you really have to stay there, bro? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> at, at, at a point when you're at um, let's say those all inclusive resorts. Yeah, there's on, only so much you can do. Yeah, because it's just the beach. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> I think all you need, realistically, all you need is like one day on okay. the beach. You get your tan in. Yep. You get like your your swimming in. Yeah. And then boom, the next day, you don't even want to do it that bad. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then boom, the next day, maybe hit the pool. Yeah. And boom, after that, what are you going to do? An excursion? Boom, three days. Perfect. The thing that sucked yeah. for me, at least, was since I was with a lot of family, mm-hmm. I wasn't able to like, do my you know oh, do my like, thing. yeah do your thing yeah but it was just uh you know it, it was just more like we're gonna do things together yeah yeah that's that's mostly it. would you would you rather be traveling with friends or family like would you rather go to like your your most coveted like locations with friends or family oh that's hard low-key i think i would go with friends with friends over family yeah yeah it depends where it is no, though No, because my friends my friends are just mad like i think my family is mostly Let's stick to the itinerary. Mm. And then my friends are like, fuck it, let's, let's just adventure. And I'm more of an adventure spontaneous person. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I love that way more. Oh, okay. Because my, my cousins are pretty cool, though. They're like, they'll, they'll do everything. Yeah, <laughs> no, Okay, hold on. Oh, you're talking about like, f- like cousin family friends? No, that's family, right? That's family. Okay, then yeah. Okay, I don't know still. It depends on the place. Let's say we're going to Mexico. I love, yeah. drink- I love drinking with my family. Mm-hmm. If we're going to New York, obviously I- with my friends. I think what sucks is if you go to like a special location in the world uh-huh. and then you bring like a significant <laughs> other and y'all break up. Oh, Yo, nah. Next time you return there, you probably not want to go back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that that should happen definitely like far in the relationship. There's that's like no um, that's like the song. Like when you got when you guys have a song. Yeah, that sucks, yeah. bro. That <laughs> sucks. Do you have one? I think you said you had one of those, right? Yeah, yeah. No, there's a certain song that I always just can't listen to now. Well, mm-hmm. I can now because I'm good now. But like before, I was like, fuck, whatever it turned on, I was like, I'll already flashed yeah, yeah, yeah. the raven, the fucking raven eye. Mm-hmm. Yo, okay, I have. There's this one song. Fuck. What? Oh, you know what it is? What? It's, ooh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. You know that oh, song? Oh, <laughs> yo, that was a banger back Bro, then. Bro, no, I fucking hate that song. Really? Listen, this is why. This why? is why. why, why? So I was working mm-hmm. as a swim instructor, right? Yeah. And sometimes when, when we teach, the lifeguard isn't usually like, watching your section yeah, they yeah. could be walking around the pool whatever right okay, okay. so it just so happened we're doing treading so we're in the deep end right yeah, yeah. and i have my class my class is like six kids five kids whatever right okay, okay. <laughs> dog this will happen so i was watching the kids making sure they're good yeah. right because you have to keep an eye on all of them because if you lose like attention whatever yeah. if one of them struggles you gotta like pick them exactly, up right exactly. this will happen this kid he had like a what do you call it? A kickboard? You know the oh, kickboard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I'm like, yo, put your kickboard away. We have to tread now. You have to tread now. Yeah. Put your kickboard away. And he wasn't listening to me. I'm like, listen, bro, we gotta start treading. Put away your kickboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's looking at me like, <laughs> you know, he didn't give a shit. shit. He didn't give a shit, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, come on, can you can you put it away? Blah blah. I'm like, okay. Uh-huh. All right. So <laughs> he lazily puts away his kickboard, <laughs> but the way he puts it in, yeah, it dunks into the water and pops back oh, up into my yeah. nose. Yeah. But I get hit right in the nose. My yeah. nose starts bleeding in the pool. Fuck. And then I have all these kids here, right? Okay. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I look over to my left, I'm like, to, yeah. to the coach, I'm like, can you watch my kids real quick? I gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta Fuck, deal man. with this now, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then the lifeguard took over. Uh-huh. But the whole time, <laughs> I was listening to the fucking, ooh, I think that I found myself. Oh <laughs> nah. my God, bro. Nah, I get why that would be like a bad memory for you. Because I was like, where, where, where's the, where's this going? Where's the song coming in? And then I kind of <laughs> found it out. Cause like usually in the um when I go like to the, the free swim in the wreck, mm-hmm. there's always like the radio songs playing. Yeah, it's always the radio songs, yeah. and that's why I hate most radio songs. Is because yeah. like that's what's playing, yeah. bro. But that's funny because the cheerleader song reminded me of the good days. Like oh, that, yeah. that song reminds me of like when I had a crush in like elementary school. Cause that's how how long ago it was. Was it that long ago? Or like was yes, fam. I, I swear that's nah. Two, that's high school. That's gotta be like 2011, fam. That's high school. No way. It's high school because I was working. That's high school. I, I swear. 
It was it had to be high school, early high school at least. Okay, maybe I'm thinking about another thing. Oh, you know what? You remember Crazy Frog? Oh yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. Remember? I don't know if your school had this, but the school dances. I don't know if you guys have that in the U.S., but mm. the school dances where everyone just goes around and then, like, you know, the Filipino boys would always like dance around and yeah. shit. No, the U.S. they have better dances, bro. What? Did I ever tell you I went to my cousin's like homecoming? No, I, w- I went to my cousin's homecoming because I was. He had like a what do you call it? Yeah, he had like a, a performance for the homecoming game. Was this in Arizona? No, this is in Chicago. This is in Illinois. Oh shit! Yeah, Chicago so old block. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but anyways, anyways, yeah. they had like their whole game. We watched the game. That was sick, right? Okay, yeah. And yo, they, their games are crazy oh, yeah, for sure. We don't what have the, nothing like we that. Have nothing we like have nothing like that nothing. in Canada, bro. <laughs> bro, I think Ryerson tried to throw a homecoming for 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 hockey. That yeah, it's not so it. That's lame. not it. That's not so it. But when it's there with the band and oh shit, like the whole army of teams, you know, it's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. But anyways, they had the homecoming game and then homecoming dances like the next day or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So because I was in town, mm-hmm. he's like, "Yo, just come to the homecoming. Check what is check what it's like, right?" Yeah, yeah. So I had to bring my passport as ID. Yeah, and shit. Like, crazy, <laughs> it's yeah, weird, yeah. right? <laughs> but anyways, they let me in, mm-hmm. and bro, it's lit. their dances go crazy, it's fam. Lit, fam. It's nothing like here, bro. <laughs> Wait, did, do they dress up? Because I know I, I've seen TikToks where girls are like homecoming dress. Mm. What is that though? Oh, it's like, like what's the purpose of homecoming? It's it's just like a dance. It's like what we have as semi formal yeah. is what they have for homecoming, but it's a bigger deal because homecoming is like the beginning of the year, I guess. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're everybody's back and then we're we're getting kick started mm, type shit. Okay, okay. So I think, like, I think. So it's like that that oh fuck, what do you call it? Frosh? It's like frosh, but like I a, guess a so. I guess frosh. so. But I think frosh is university only. This oh. is high school. This is high school, bro. That's high school. This is high school. I'm oh talking high fuck. school. So I walk in, right? Yeah, yeah. Dog, tell me how they have four DJs, bro. Oh my god, <laughs> we never in. get that. Four DJs. The gym is fucking huge. Mm-hmm. I think they have a double gym. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, like a double bro. gym or a triple gym or some yeah. shit. Four DJs. Um, yo, just the vibes alone. Mm-hmm. I think Americans, at least American teenagers. Mm-hmm. They get turned they get lit, way man. more than Canadians. They get lit. Like, they don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I went to... Um, you, there's a way you can, like, walk out, and then there's there's more party, fam. Oh my so, they have the main, the main party, and then they have another spot for, like, the slow dances and shit, yeah, and yeah. they have a separate DJ. On top of that, they had, like, the outside balcony and shit, and they're yeah. chilling there. Yeah. It's fire, man. I'm telling you, because we can't have that shit in Toronto, because even in the most suburb areas... The schools are small? No, no. Like, even if we have a party there, yeah. somehow it'll get shot up some, like... It's oh some, yeah, no, some, no, the police some, always show up. Yeah, no, like some fake gangster will come on and like show his gun, and then shit will just play out. Like not at is. a school though, not at a school. Okay, this yeah, is not school. at a school. I'm talking about house parties and shit. Yeah, yeah, okay. But yeah, no, but even the school. Remember, the semi formal got shut down because like of a fight. Oh yeah. Yes, fam. I'm telling you, we can't have none of that, that shit. We can't have none of that shit. I'm telling you, if, if we had the Adrian kickback in Toronto, hundred percent getting shot up. Even the Raptors, so? yeah. the Raptors ceremony when everything was supposed to be nice and happy, what I happened? I know, a shooting. We can't have shit, man. Damn. We can't have shit. Yo, you know what? Okay, let, let's, we should really, I think we missed out on the whole American high school experience. <laughs> I, I'm i not saying I want to go back in high school oh, there, yeah, sure, but sure. I want to see what it's like. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to like, <laughs> like, I wish I can be younger and like, yeah. just see what it, what's up. Yeah, no, when you were talking about the, the dance and shit in the US, yeah. you know that last scene in Euphoria, I think season one, when mm. they were dancing at the prom and shit? Yeah, it's like that. It's, it's like that. It's exactly like that. Like that. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I had in my mind. It's exactly like that. Yeah. Man. And they dress like that too, eh? Oh my God, man. <laughs> okay, hold on. What was your first time that you experienced like really bad FOMO? The really bad FOMO? Yeah, like you th- you knew you had it at that time. Like oh, your, okay. Your first experience. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Because I have mine too. I tell you, okay. So this was this was like grade 10, I think. Yeah. Grade 10 or nine. Yeah. And what happened was I got invited to this girl's like debut. Oh, <laughs> love those. Love I got those. invited to this girl's debut and I know like <laughs> debuts are going to be fire. <laughs> Yo, oh, um, by the way, FOMO is fear of missing out if you don't already know. Yeah, and I knew like the debut is going to be crazy. I know the party's going to be crazy. Yeah. But 
my family decided, oh, we have to go to Chicago. Yo, it's the, it's the same. It actually lines up. It actually lines up. Yo, I just bagged that. No, this is the same time. This yeah. is literally the exact same time. So you missed the debut, but you went I to went, the- Yeah, I went to the, I went to the homecoming. Oh, okay, so- <laughs> Yo, I just took that in. No, yeah, that's, that's, that's actually by accident. That's actually by that's accident. Crazy. No, so we ended up going to Chicago because I think my Lolo wanted to to get dropped off there or something. Yeah, yeah. And we were there for a bit just so we can like hang out mm-hmm. or whatever, be with the family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but bro, there was something in my chest, right? Yeah. And I'm like, I know something's going to be sick yeah, at, yeah. at the debut. Uh-huh. And I know I'm missing out. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> And to my surprise, mm-hmm. no, it wasn't a surprise, fam. Like I knew. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> they, Josh and Denzel went. They, what? They were telling me all these stories. Oh, like, yo, no. that yeah, shit yeah. was crazy. I'm like, fuck, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. And like, Carlos, if you went, you would have caught play like so good. Yo, I was, just, I was just gonna say, if you like, the booze are Loki the spot. If you want a Filipino thing, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the way to chop it up. A debut is the easiest leeway. Is easiest. Easiest. It's easiest. But fuck, I missed out, man. But at least you had a good time. With I had a good, I had a good time yeah. anyway. But it's just like that's the one event I guess that I didn't go to that yeah. I missed out on. I wish I yeah. went. Because what it's funny because you whenever there's something going on or you know there's something going on, I have something like, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, yo, Gavin, we have to do this. We have to do this. Like, I, I don't want to miss out on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like there's a party at like door three club. Now nah, let's go to the play box. Uh, like whatever. It is. Toy box. Toy, toy box. box. Yeah. yeah. No, I always tell you like. Cause I have a feeling. No, I have a sense, fam. Yeah. I sometimes I just have a sense. I'm like, yeah. This shit. This one's gonna be shit. This one's gonna be crazy. Mm-hmm. And whenever I have that sense, I'm like ten out of ten times right, yeah. man. Real shit. No, I remember um the Halloween. Oh, I had two two instances for FOMO. Yeah. So the first one was when I was out in Mexico. Yeah. And you guys were going to like an escape room. Mm-hmm. The one I missed out. Oh, and I knew that I was a sick failed. escape room. That's that's why I don't like staying in in vacations very long. Yeah, because I I miss home because all my friends are doing some shit. Yeah, so, so it's th- weird how that happens, right? Yeah. Once I leave, why are you guys play yeah. motives? So boom, you guys are calling me. I'm like, oh my god, escaping with Carlos. I know it's about to be lit, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then boom, that shit happens. And I was literally like waiting for you guys' text. I was mm-hmm. like, fuck, 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 it's happening right now. You know? oh. But then, but then I remember the Halloween party also. Right? Wait, I swear you came to that though. I came to that. You know yeah, why? Yeah. yeah, but I got FOMO because I had a basketball game that day. Oh. Literally, as soon as the game ended, I called the Uber. It was a smad late already. Oh, called the shit. Uber, took the train with you guys. Yeah. So oh, I, shit. I, so I couldn't get catch FOMO. Yeah, okay. That's good. I'm yeah. the worst with FOMO, fam. Yeah. Like, I'm the worst with FOMO before it happened, at least. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right? true. That's true. That's true. Right? Yeah. Because you got to always have another plan. Okay. Do you think do you think FOMO is a really bad trigger for spending money? Oh, yes. Because I think that's that's like what companies take advantage of, especially uh-huh. when you're on vacation or like mm-hmm. certain places where you want to have the best experience. So you got to pay a little bit more. Yeah. What yeah. do you think? That's why, you know, um, I think in Mexico, they were showing us videos of people going on to the excursion yeah. and doing like the ski. What do you call that? The thing on the water? Oh, a uh, ski do. Yeah, ski do, yeah. shit like that. Jet and ski. they're all, all happy, all shit. And we're like, me and my friends, like, fuck, we gotta go there. Mm. You know? But yeah. Did you do it or not? No, I didn't. Nah? No. Have you ever spent a lot of money on something and then, like, wow, oh, fuck, I shouldn't have spent that? <laughs> oh, shit. I have to think. Did you? Nah, go but. Go tell your new story. No, actually, I don't. There's nothing I regret. There's nothing yeah. I regret. I think everything I spent money on uh-huh. to this day, I still like lesson learned. Like I won't, I won't spend money on that type of stuff again. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think there's one time I spent and like, damn, I wish I still had that money from that. Okay, no, I have one because we were at the club, right? Yeah. And guess how much we spent on bottles? How much? A thousand five hundred. Damn, a thousand five hundred bottles, huh? But but you know it's one of those ones where it's like, fuck, man, we're just we're just, just here, we're it, just, just living. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at my bank account, making sure that the <laughs> next YouTube check comes in. <laughs> yo, and I know some people they hear yeah. that and they're like, yo, that's nothing. Yeah, and that's what's crazy to me. People people spend a lot of money like yeah. it's like it's nothing, bro. Yeah, and I think it's the people that don't work hard for their money yeah, I know. <laughs> are the ones that easily to spend, right? Yeah. Yo. So there's a theory, actually. There's Wait, a theory. I was going to say the same one. What? What? The one where it's like your hand. Can- oh, you know that one? Oh, is that what you're going to tell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. That's- say it, say it, say it. No, no, you say it, you say it. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll say it then. All right. Yeah. So there's a, there's a theory uh-huh. that there's certain things on your hand that yeah. can show signs of 
if you spend a lot of money yeah. or if you're wasteful of a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, I know this one. And yo, there's even stuff on like um, there's like moles. If you have certain moles on your hand, yeah, I have moles. Yeah, so apparently, if you have it, I think on your pinky finger. Okay. Right. It means your little sibling will be your benefactor and give you a lot of riches when you're older. Yes, in your life. sir. Is that yes, yes, yeah? Sir. You have a mole on it? Yeah, right here. Yo, <laughs> Yo little sis, shout out my little sis. So one of them is, I think your your pointer finger okay. is yourself. It's going to be yourself. Okay. You have one on a mole no, on I your... No, yeah. I so that'll be yourself. And if you have it on your ring finger, it means you'll marry into a oh, really that. rich family. Oh, and check I... that shit out. No! <laughs> No, that shit gotta be the opposite. That shit gotta be the opposite. I put like a sharpie on there. Nah, chill. No, but I I, I learned that because if you open close your hand like this mm-hmm. if there's gaps yeah 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 that's the chinese tradition of money will slip through your fingers mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Do you know how to avoid it how to wear gold rings oh really yeah, yeah and that's the way because when i was searching up the theory mm-hmm. like I, I was like oh shit i got a gold ring on so that means it'll cover up the gaps so the money oh, won't spend through sense. no more. That- well, I know we got sent the Manscaped package, right? Yeah. Have you been using it? I've been using it all the time. I yes. got it right here. Hey, by this, it, I can tell you. <laughs> I've heard that they actually upgraded. Oh, really? So now they have an ultra premium collection. So Manscaped actually sent us steps on how to use the products. All right, let me walk you guys through the Manscaped shower routine. <laughs> Step one, lather your cologne infused ultra premium body wash with aloe vera and sea salt to keep your skin feeling clean and moisturized all day. Step two, apply the two-in-one shampoo plus condition that cleanses and nourishes in one step. Step three, once you hop out of the shower, you got to protect yourself Facts. from body odor by applying the Manscaped aluminum-free deodorant. So I know you have tattoos, right? Yes, sir. So they got you. So they hit your skin with the hydrating body moisturizer spray. So this is blessed for me too because I have chapped lips, right? So they have the Manscaped lip balm. This is a free gift when you purchase the Ultra Premium Collection. So last but not least, they also include a new and improved Lawnmower 4.0 Yes, sir. To clean off any unwanted body hair. So if you want to get in the deal, you get 20% off plus free shipping if you use the code jumpers at manscaped.com. The link will be down below in the description. Make sure to click it. I think I seen like a TikTok of this of this Chinese lady talking about all these like different tattoos you should get. Oh, really? Or you shouldn't get. Oh. Because um obviously I have the Chinese Zodiac yeah, dragon yeah. tattoo, right? Yeah. And one of them was like, if you're if you're a dragon or if you're a dog, uh-huh. never get a tattoo of the corresponding so never if you're a dragon don't okay. get a tattoo of a dog you know why why because your zodiac if you're a dragon mm-hmm. is very incompatible with, oh, the, with opposite, the opposite which is the dog Makes so sense. if you're a tiger you're not supposed to get like a snake tattoo oh yeah so it's the same thing you'll get like really bad luck really yeah so it's the opposite also uh-huh. if you're year of the tiger mm-hmm. if you're year of the tiger you should never get a tiger tattoo why? or ever have any tiger things in your house yeah yeah you know why? Why? Because there's an ancient saying uh-huh. that a mountain can never hold two tigers. Really? Yeah. A mountain can never hold two tigers. There's only room for one. So what? if you're a tiger yourself, uh-huh. there, should no, there shouldn't be any other tigers around you. Oh, that makes... No, but I read like... Because I, I remember I was searching up like uh, shit lore about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just stumbled across like really symbolic Chinese like like symbols mm-hmm. and one was like the biggest one was a tiger no a tiger is, is lucky yeah but if you're year of the tiger oh, okay so if you're year of the tiger you shouldn't you shouldn't get you it you shouldn't have tiger stuff around you and okay year of the tiger people yeah they're very incompatible with other year of the tiger people oh okay yeah but how about the dragon you're allowed to get the dragon Boom, yeah, lucky. yeah, no, dra- dragon's lucky. Yeah, dragon's <laughs> okay. not lucky. Okay, I might, I might just fuck around and say, I'll just get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a dog, you get bad luck, bro. Yo, imagine the tattoo of the uh, just dogs running around my, my <laughs> hips, man. <laughs> Yo, but I, you know what I think it all is? What? It's all to like, if you look at an animal, right? Look yeah. at like, a, look at you're the tiger and look at the tiger. A mm-hmm. tiger is a very lonely creature. Yeah. I think that's where it all comes from. All those superstitions. Mm-hmm. It all comes from that. Like, look in nature. How does the tiger move? Mm-hmm. It's very by itself, by itself. Never in a pack, mm-hmm. right? And they're very like adamant on not being with others. Like, they yeah. hate working t- with other people, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, one of the crazy ones, you pointed out the, the lucky cat. Yeah, yeah. Look, what's the name of it again? Hold on. <laughs> okay, it's called the Maneki Nenko. Maneki what? Maneki Nenko. Okay, bet. 
So it's also known as the welcoming cat, the money cat, the happy cat, the beckoning cat. Mm. So this was actually the story behind the lucky cat oh, and shit. why they put it in front of all these Chinese restaurants yeah, yeah. or businesses to mm. lure in good fortune. Mm, yeah, because right? I know it. This like all the evil spirits. That's what it's for. Some of it. Okay. Some of it. So the original meaning of the beckoning cat, yeah. or the origin at least, was one day uh -huh. there was this, I think it was a king or like a very wise man, right? Uh -huh. And he saw this cat yeah. like across the street, okay. right? Yeah. And he was standing under a tree because it was raining. Okay. And he saw the cat. He's like, well, what's that cat doing, right? What's yeah. that cat? The cat's doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that cat was doing that. Yeah. So the cat was doing this to him. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, what's that cat doing? Yeah. So he walked over to the cat. And as he walked over, uh -huh. it was almost like it's welcoming over yeah. to stand with him, right? Okay. And just as he came closer, boom, thunderstruck right where he was standing. Nah. Yeah. So what happened was this king, mm -hmm. he ended up making the cat such a such a good fortune, uh, not an idol. What's it called? Like um, like a lucky. What do you what, um, what do you call it? Figure. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you know like what a mean? lucky figure. Yeah, yeah. There's another word for it, but anyways, yeah, having like a lucky thing to stand by, right? Okay, okay. And that's what it became. Yeah. So anytime you see these cats, it's mm -hmm. actually to ward away bad energy, yeah. negative energy, mm -hmm. bring you closer yeah. to wealth and success. Oh, okay, that's fire. So there's actually a difference with the left paw from the right. Yeah. The left paw is uh -huh. supposed to actually attract customers. Okay. So it's actually yeah, like, like a high kind of like a come in, come in oh, type okay, of thing. Okay, right. Okay, yeah. But if it's holding up the right paw, uh -huh. it's supposed to, it's supposed to bring in wealth and success. Oh, oh, so there's two different versions. There's two different versions. There's two really? different versions. And I think there's even one with like two arms. I could be two wrong. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I swear. That Mandela effect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But, but there's like a bunch of different special ones. I know a black one. Yeah. A black cat, not a gold one, mm. is supposed to... Well, yo, put it a little bit closer oh, in the yeah, camera. Yeah. There we go. So the black one, right? Uh -huh. The black one is is the one that's supposed to be specifically for evil spirits. Supposed okay, to ward okay. away evil spirits. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of why some people have black cats. Word. Yeah. Okay, no. Nah. And the white one is supposed to be something... Um, I think just happiness, just straight happiness. True. So rather than well success, mm -hmm. just happiness. Word. No, nah, you know what you should also get? Because... um. To add to the table, mm -hmm. there's a thing called the dragon turtle. So there's like a dragon mm. and then a turtle on top. And What's that, that? What's that, that literally just is all about courage, determination, and success. So if you add it to your to your collection of mm. already lucky shit, yeah. I think all, this whole shit is just lucky. It is. It is. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what I think though? I think it's more of intention. Yeah. Right? Because I think look at like crystals and shit. Yeah. I hate to go always back to this, but yeah. if you if you take it in, anything like you know how athletes they'll have like a a trinket that's kind of the, the oh, word. okay like a little trinket a trinket like a lucky yeah. trinket a token mm -hmm. right yeah of having with them to make them do better yeah no matter what it is i think it's all just intention true it's like if i take this piece of like orange peel i put it in my yeah. sock i'm gonna i'm gonna hit five three pointers today mm -hmm. You know what I mean, yeah, I think that's all it is, bro. If you have that that mindset with it, have that intention of use, yeah, then that's the way it's gonna be for you, yeah. rather than just like it being there. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, you know, you know how um, uh, the the running joke is like you you're gonna call your child child one. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I found out <laughs> what? that there there are like certain like illegal names in the world that you can't name your children. No, there's not. Who the fuck? And you can't name your child one, two, three. Like you can't name Wait, the what? numbers. You can't name your child like number one, number two, number. No, three. listen, and I have a what list, and I have a list. Look, look, look. <laughs> okay, so the these are the cert, these are the names that you cannot like if they if the government catches you. Yeah. Because some of the names like pass through, but they they get caught later and they put you in jail for naming your child something. Name. Yeah, so I'm gonna really? list them down. Yeah. Which is funny. So you can't name your child Messiah, Jesus Christ. Yo. The at the you know the at. The ad symbol? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the Three, 1069, Adolf Hitler. Wait, why 1069? Why? I don't know. Yo, take in. These are all names that people try to name their kids to. Mm. Adolf Hitler, Majesty, 007, Thor, James Bond. There's and definitely Thors out there. No. There's got to be Thors no, out they're there, probably bro. in jail right now. <laughs> oh, shit. And, and Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> what the fuck?
<laughs> and you know a kid, uh, a parent tried naming their kid uh, Burger King, and that also didn't get put through. It got canceled. Burger King. Burger King, fuck? bro. <laughs> Burger King. I'm gonna name my kid Spider Man, bro. <laughs> That's probably illegal too, bro. That's so dumb. I know. But I'm pretty sure I heard of a Thor. I'm pretty sure I heard of a Majesty. No, there has to be like a Majesty. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, my my grandpa's name is is Jesus, like spelled Jesus. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot yeah, of but, a lot of Mexican <laughs> Latino people. Yeah, but it's it's like Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, yeah, Jesus, yeah. So I a guess, lot of people, fam. Really? Yeah, a lot of people got. His use as their as their Lord. first name, <laughs> but you know my dad's name. Yeah, my dad's name is Lord. Lord. Yeah, that's I, a fire name. You know about that? No, I didn't. So in in the Philippines, when he was gonna get uh, either baptized or get it get his confirmation or communion, something like that, mm -hmm. they didn't. Oh, I think it was baptism. They okay. didn't want to baptize him. Oh, why? Yeah, they didn't want to baptize him because his name was Lord. Oh shit! So it's like. Through the power of, of the, the Lord, Lord, I baptize the Lord. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. But I think what happened was my my Lola. She's very um, she's very well respected because mm. she was a, a school teacher. Okay, yeah, one of the heads. Yeah, one, one of the heads in 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 the schools. Yeah, and I guess it they allowed it. Yeah, but they weren't gonna do it if his name was Lord. Word. Yeah, that's that's funny how I swear like all all our Lolas are like teachers because my Lola was a science teacher too. Oh yeah, right and and my dad was in her classes really yeah. so, so my my grandma is always telling me how, how whenever i'm in, like i was in the teaching mm. i never saw your dad like he was always lazy never came to oh. class that shit. and he can't get away obviously with it because yeah. he's the teacher yeah. <laughs> so that shit made no sense my dad, yeah my dad has a lot of stories of yes, him bro. like doing some bad stuff yeah. but he gets away with it because mm -hmm. he's his mom's the teacher yeah, exactly. or his mom's a teacher in there i'm telling you my like my little cousins in the philippines they're already like they're dreaming drinking they're they're fucking i remember my dad back then he stole like cigarettes mm. when he was like a i guess high schooler from yeah thing i was just smoking it with his friends and shit like that where we, i still gotta ask if i i want to leave the house <laughs> and i'm like 21 no but i think it's because of that mm -hmm. is why they're more strict when they're here yeah okay there was this saying like I forgot there was there was this viral tiktok saying yeah if you date an asian girl they're most submissive like that i i Definitely disagree with that. Wait, wait, what is what's submissive again? Like, so there was this. I th I'm pretty sure it was like some black guy. He was on TikTok. Yeah, he said, uh, "Asian girls are the most submissive out of all girls." So does that what, what does submissive mean? Like submissive, like, like as clingy? in like um, or like they won't let you go out. No, submissive, the opposite. You don't know what submissive so they means. Will, so, no, to I, submit, to submit to you, to give you the power. Oh, really? So. So really? I disagree. Yeah. And a lot of people were disagreeing First, with it. No, the hell of people were disagreeing with that yeah, shit. Yeah. No, nah, Asians, no, nah, Asians. It's the opposite. Yeah, Is it the not opposite. the opposite? Because we were we were raised to always ask if you wanted to go out, shit like that. Mm -hmm. We're mostly like homebodies. No, especially like at least from my experience, yeah. at least from what I know, because I have a lot of cousins that are that are female. Yeah. That are girls. Mm -hmm. Yo, a lot of them, they're very like powerful they're fam. Pow they <laughs> they're wear powerful. they always wear like the the jeans yeah all the time yeah. bro all the time the, i said jeans pants the pants yeah <laughs> same shit same shit yeah. <laughs> no but they're yeah. always the ones that are like no i want to do this yeah i want to do we're not doing that mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah, yeah and i think that's completely false i think just <laughs> media media wants to make it look like that yeah yeah that's completely false yeah that's true but i guess like there's also the ones where I think this is why they have that, um, like, what do you call that? They have that little stereotype. Stereotype, because it's the opposite. Mostly the Asian guys are, are the one. No, are the ones that play the top part. Oh, we're, I don't we're, know. We're not, okay, but you're you're the opposite though. Like you're the one percent. <laughs> <laughs> if you're dating a white girl, you're no. still the one percent. <laughs> okay. You don't make no sense. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you saying are you saying they're portrayed as submissive or? Yeah, they're portrayed as submissive. Cause listen, all the soft Asian boys, they they okay let, maybe they yeah. let their maybe girlfriends yeah. do all the talking. Whatever we're doing, I'll do it. You feel me? Maybe I agree. I exactly. think I agree. Exactly. I think I agree. There's though. only like a. A certain amount of people that could actually like wear the wear the bottoms. Yeah, you know I agree. Yeah, because because a lot of time, even just in movies and shit, the mm -hmm. Asian guys always like the exactly. Yo, movies don't help Asian guys, bro. I'm telling you, there's no lead except in K dramas that mm. are helping. There was this one movie, I think it was called um, 
What's that song again? It what? goes, it goes, last Chris, yeah, last Christmas. Okay, but that, fam, that, he was still wearing the, the, the top. The girl was making all the decisions. Damn, right? I think you're right, still. Yeah. I think you're right. Wait, I think, yeah. I, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Fuck. I know. Damn, okay. <laughs> no, nah, there's this one guy, there's this one actor who's in Bad Boys, an Asian guy. Okay, but fam, you're you see that? The fact that you had to, to I search. I had to think. I had to look through all the files to find it is so a good point. Yeah, yeah that is yeah. a good point. Okay, do you think do you think that stigma is changing because of anime? Or does it not matter because it's cartoons? No, I... I <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's girls, a good question. No, that's no, a good fact, question, fact. is it not? No, because girls, girls, I always see TikToks. They're like, yo, I, I'm falling in love with 2D men. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always... And the 2D men is always a guy from Haiku... Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the volleyball, the volleyball one. Yes, or like any anime. Yeah, you know. So I think the popularity of K dramas and thing are are popularizing the Asians. So we're gonna come up soon. Just wait for our time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I don't get also that every Filipino boy yeah. is sir, somehow I don't know where this came from a red flag already. Why Filipino boys? Yes. The, are you not on TikTok? Every time I scroll, another Filipino red flag. Really? I'm, yes. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I guess that's just like the norm now. You know what? You know, um, do you know the origin of like ABGs? Oh, I think I read it, but tell me. Tell me. Do you know the origin? Like, no. Where all this shit came from? No. Dog, so in, in LA, right? Yeah. One of the early gangs mm -hmm. were Asian gangs that were very prominent. Yep, I remember it now, yeah. In like Long Beach and all those areas, right? Mm -hmm. Bro, so the whole term Asian baby girl yeah. came from not necessarily just an Asian baddie girl. Mm. It's literally like Asian gangs. Really? Like girls that were in gangs, fam. Yeah. So uh, the OG ABG uh -huh. is part of like a crew of girls that would cut your cut your yeah. neck, fam. Yeah, yeah I know. Because I, I, think, I think we were watching the same TikTok. Yeah. But it was like, um, you know how in Tokyo Drift, they have the gangsters, like the Asian gangsters? Mm -hmm. That's with who they rolled with. Yeah, yeah, they they rolled with that. They were like the the counterparts to those yeah, gangs, yeah. but they also had their own gangs. Yeah, and I, they were like badass. I know. I think I swear they they had a name for it. It was like the most fucked name. Is like Death Squad or some shit like that. I know there's there's a few names of the gangs. One was like Asian Boys. Yeah. One was like fuck. I forgot the names hold for on. sure. No, because I know. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. I'm pretty sure there was one name like Asian Assassins. That might be in Toronto though. Really? Yeah. But there's there's hella there's hella like the yeah. triads or uh, the yakuza whatever yeah they're they're prominent fam they're yeah. prominent especially in that time I think just the nineties alone mm -hmm. just that whole culture like that gang culture mm -hmm. that was on the rise fam man. I'm telling you it happens everywhere you see um the biker gang in in the U S oh uh, Hell's Angels yeah Hell's Angels mm -hmm. and then do you know about the the Dav the Davao Street wait hold on it's called the Davao Death Squad. The Davo Death Squad? In the, in the Philippines. In the Philippines. Do you, have, do you have any family in the Davo? Nah, nah. But nah. Jamil's from there. Really? I think, I think he's yeah, from there. But yeah. they they literally take do street executions. Oh, shit. So they'll take a person and literally kill him on the street in front of everyone. Damn. Yeah. But that's like every gang, man. I, I think I think that's every gang until like it's seen. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Yeah. Because more times like they're doing that shit behind closed doors, bro. Yeah, yeah that's true. Have you ever got like pressed by one pressed by a gang member yeah. nah never because i remember um i was watching k showtime's interview on no jumper right yeah and he was wearing the 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 fit the all red fitted cleveland browns one. Oh, and thing. that's like a gang and hat. all their all their comments was yo you're gonna get pressed in la if you wear that you're gonna get pressed mm. right and i was watching a documentary with my dad literally the the white guy who was exploring around like the hood parts of la yeah like the mexico type shit yeah yeah the guy was like yo i'll I'm I'm thirsty, but I'm not gonna go to that convenience store because I know what's going on there. Mm, if they that's see like one of the spots. That, that's so scary because it's literally like five meters. You can run into the wrong people anytime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can get shot, fam. For real. You know? Yo, to be honest with you, the fit you're wearing right now, you couldn't wear it. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is like the worst fit you yo, can wear. Yo, yo, I'm telling you, because I can't wear this. Because you know, there's because the P is for Pyru. Yeah, yeah, and then I got Paisley. Yeah, I got Paisley. <laughs> That's like the worst fit you can wear, fam. <laughs> I'm sanctioned. I'm sanctioned. <laughs>
you know how the usual thing is when you get older you get a dad yeah, bod right you get dad. a dad bod <laughs> yeah my dad now he's older and he's like in that dad bod age oh, he's like shredded <laughs> oh you gotta give me the workout plan bro <laughs> like what is he doing that's man? so one solution that'll okay. be great for everybody is mm -hmm. actually our sponsor fitbod yes sir so shout out to fitbod no matter what experience level you're at no oh, matter okay. where you are you'll be able to have access to these workouts and mm -hmm. plans to get you where you want to be uh, this is clutch because i've been eating bad korean barbecue mm -hmm. and i'm trying to get these you know <laughs> so this is perfect timing thank you fitbod so fitbod's innovative algorithm learns your body learns your experience level and crafts a personalized training program just for you so access your personalized routine on the easy to use app and start making progress on your goals wherever you are it's basically like having a personal trainer 24 7. so get 25 percent off your subscription or you guys can try out the free app when you sign up now at fitbod.me slash jumpers j-u-m-p-e-r-s that's 25 percent off your subscription at fitbod.me slash jumpers use our code the link will be down low in the description Make sure to click it. <laughs> I'm a civilian. I'm a civilian. <laughs> yo. No, but then that's when I bought all my Paisley stuff. I was like, yo, I'm gonna just wear this in LA and shit. Like, no, no, you can't. Just don't. Just, just, just be safe. Just be safe. There's literally press ratings for your hat. So yeah. this press rating is an eight out of ten. So oh, that, shit. like you said, the Pyrus, mm -hmm. they will if I get caught walking like this. No, oh yeah, wear that, God. man. Even like the the Chicago hat, because with the C. Yeah. The blue Chicago, and, you can't wear the that. Houston for the Hoovers, mm -hmm. you can't. But I remember I was in LA, right? And we were coming out of buffet. And we saw these. I remember I was wearing blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All blue shirt, Nike shirt. Mm. My dad gave me his jacket. He's like, Gavin, put this on. Bro, I'm like, why? He's like, fam, look at look at the people over there. They got the, the oh. headbands on. They got, we were going to go on our tour bus. Like, we're civilians, so we don't yeah, know any yeah, better. Yeah. But he gave me his jacket. I'm like, fuck. Damn, that's crazy. Shit. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know about any, like, is there is there any flags for the the Asian gangs? Oh, I don't know. Wait, who's that guy in, um? it's Nelly something. You put me on him, the Asian. Oh, rapper. um, MB Nell, MB Nell, yeah, he's yeah, fire. yeah. I think he's he's like he he's, wears he's the crib, right? Yeah, he's yeah, crib. Yeah, he's crib. And even um, the other one, Stupid Young, Stupid yeah, Young. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> Young, that's Mendo. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid young man. Yeah, you say you the, say. The, the funniest thing was like, um, did you see his documentary? Yeah, of course. When, when um, of course, he's like, yo, the Asian lady who brings the henny, brings the cups for everyone. You can give her a call at any time; she'll bring it. <laughs> you know, she's the neighborhood uh, LCBO. <laughs> yo, that's that's probably real though. Like that's how it is, fam. It is. If if you're if you're in there in that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Y'all are like family. Yeah. At that point. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yo, in the documentary, he was showing like, yo, these girls, um, they lost their dad or whatever. Yep. But the whole neighborhood is taking care of taking them. Taking care, yeah. And that's some real shit. I know. Because there's a point where I see that and you you can look at like gangs in a in a bright light. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not necessarily all they do is, is yeah, yeah. ethical, but like, look at it. If there's some people that need, that need help and they're there for them. Yeah, for sure fam that like it goes it goes hand in hand yeah. like that's what they need at the time it's literally ride or die mm -hmm. like if you put yourself and i don't rem i don't think oh no the the documentary when the guy was gonna join a gang yeah remember and he had oh to, he's like fight back, yeah. fight back. <laughs> and he had to initiate it that shit is crazy because after they beat the guy up mm. bloody red eyes everything yeah after they took care of him yo yo bro put this on your eye make sure to disinfect it like make sure you're good all right mm. Boom. so even though that that's the type of brotherhood i i want fam. but yeah, obviously yeah. i'm not gonna join a gang like the hell no i think one of the scariest things is like when they brand you bro like in oh, in, in jails and prison, mm -hmm. you'll get like tattoos and you're you're owned to that gang now if you have that tattoo. Word. They yeah. do that shit in frats, cause my friend was telling me In how, frats? Yes. Damn. Yes, fam. They my friend was telling me how they branded some guy's ass with like a hot with steel? a hot on in the party. And I don't know. Frats are so weird, man, because it's like a cult. It's like a it, real it cult. That ass is cause my friend joined one and I was the shit that he was going through. Yeah. To join it was the dumbest shit. They were like, yo, swim across this lake. What the fuck? Um, uh, what do you call this? And then my dad in the Philippines, when they had their shit, they would take spankings. Oh if no, that's every, that's every frat. Yeah, like yeah. if they didn't get it right, they would smack their hand. Mm. I'm like, bro, why are you doing this shit for? Like, if you if you can't get girls, fam, <laughs> just just admit it, bro. I don't think that's what it's for, though. I think I think what it really is for is for, is to have a sense of like belonging. And I a lot guess. of people need that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why people join cults, bro. Yeah. 
That's why people join cults and shit. Mm-hmm. But going back to like branding. Yeah. So when I was in Bahamas, right? Okay. Um, shout out Loxley, oh, my, my fishing guide. Yeah. He told me this story how he had his nephew, right? Mm-hmm. His nephew woke up one day. Okay. And he had like a burn mark of a cross on his arm. No. Like on his forearm right here. Already red flag. A burn mark, like a super burned mark, right? And yeah. like he woke up, he didn't feel it. Mm-hmm. And it was just there. It just appeared. It wasn't even painful when he woke up. Yeah. So he looked into it. There's people all around the world yeah. with the same burn mark no. of a cross. No, no way. Around the world. So there's this phenomenon where a cross, a yeah. burnt mark of a cross is showing up on people's arms mm-hmm. and nobody knows why. What? Did, did he explain why? Nobody knows why. <laughs> oh, it's, a mis- it's a mystery to this day. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. What the So heck? if you wake up one day and you have a burn mark on your arm, yeah. maybe you're not the only one. Holy fuck. Okay, hold on. So does it... <laughs> So you know how we have like the the random bruises, yeah, and that's like from a sleep demon. That's like a demon, yeah. So yeah. you're de- definitely it's pro- pro- probably from a demon. What do you think it is? Well, I think so this the, is this is definitely something that has to do with the. This is my whole demon. like theory with it. Yeah, bro. So you know in the Bible, right? Mm-hmm. How you can have the mark of the beast. The mark <laughs> of the beast. You know what that is? Yeah. And the people with the mark of the beast will be like stuck here. What do you mean stuck here? Like. Like when the rapture happens. Oh, yeah. You know what the rapture is? Yeah, Have you yeah. ever read the book of Revelations in the Bible? Not really, but... That's I, like I, the apocalypse, right? Okay, you watch okay. This is the End? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty much like <laughs> I, that. that. No, that was what was in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty much like that. And it's pretty much just hell on earth, right? It's, okay, it's yeah. the apocalypse. Mm-hmm. And the people that were good and the people that followed the virtues, mm-hmm. they'll be sent to heaven. Everybody else will be stuck here. Yeah. And there's a lot of movies depicting like, oh, um, one day... Mm-hmm. Your baby might disappear. Oh, one day the the priest might disappear. Mm-hmm. And then all that's left is just the people that were left behind. Shit. Yeah. Mm. So that's what you think it is? May I don't know. I don't know for sure. Maybe yeah. it's something even deeper than that. Mm-hmm. Maybe they have some next powers they can do. Yeah, yeah. But who knows? True. It's, it's still a mystery. This is in Bahamas, right? In Bahamas, right? Did, were you around any like lighthouses? Lighthouses, because Bahamas is all, always known for for some lighthouses too. Yeah, I seen one. I yeah. seen one. Why? There's like a story that every lighthouse mm-hmm. could be um, haunted by the, a guy that was uh, abandoned from a ship and ate from a shark. What the fuck? So yeah. So like that, the whole story. Like I said, uh, I think there was a ship one day and th- he just got thrown off. Mm. Boom, eaten by a bunch of sharks and got washed up on shore. Mm. So now, and this was right beside a lighthouse. Yeah, yeah. So the the I I keep saying theory, but the story goes that every lighthouse, whenever there's light, he's probably there. He's probably circling it. Like still there, his yeah, body, still there, yeah. or his his spirit is haunting mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Wow. Th- there's also a similar story in Mexico. I don't know if you know the island of dolls. Oh, I told this. I told John this. Huh? I told John you this. Did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I told Dino this. Yeah, we did this really? one. Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> fuck. I was going to have... But wait, did you tell her right though? Because like the, the girl got washed up yeah, on shore. Yeah, we, t- we talked about this. And how like they're talking and shit. Yeah, fuck. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a nice transition. <laughs> no, that was, a, that was a crazy one. Yeah. That's a crazy one because it's still there. Like yeah. you can go ahead and, and, and find that shit. Yeah. And I think the scariest... Yo... There's certain people that I meet and then they're like, yo, I don't believe in any of that yeah, paranormal yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, right. It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. those type of people, I'm like, dog, maybe you should just go try and visit and maybe I'll change your mind. You know yeah, what I mean? If y'all are so brave, y'all are so brave, go to a graveyard, <laughs> take oh out a my. Ouija board or some no, shit. No, I Give it a try and then come back to me. I think there was also another one where people, I think it was in, um, I think it was in Phoenix mm. where it was close to a lake. And I think one of the pirates there died. Mm. And then uh, a person saw a, like a little pirate thing. You walk in along the graveyard with oh, a lamp. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. And I'm telling you, all the shit happens in a graveyard. Mm. You know? Do you think Do you think if you go to a graveyard right now, you can get like a presence or something? Because for me, I'm not necessarily like a... I don't have a sixth sense. Yeah. Yo, actually, yo. So... I see, we saw this TikTok. I was with my mom mm-hmm. and she's the one that showed it to me. Yeah. If you have like a cross, uh, I think under your pinky. Okay. You have a sixth sense. Oh, really? Or you have powers. Okay, then I have to check my mom then because she has yeah, it. Yeah, my mom has, has it. My really? mom has a cross. Yeah. Fuck. 
No, I don't have. She a has cross. a cross, and she's been had. Uh, she can actually do readings. Yeah, she can. When she was little, she used to do it. Yeah. But my Lola at the time, mm-hmm. she told her to stop because like yeah. there was dangers with it, right? Okay, okay. But so she stopped all of that stuff. Yeah. But she still has like the ability if she really tried really? to. Mm-hmm. I I don't have a sixth sense, but I have a thing where that I'm proud of. Mm-hmm. Like I can see potential in a person, or like the next artist that's coming out, or like the mm-hmm. next trend. Like yeah, that, that, that's, what I, that's my sixth sense. That's that's your sixth sense, you know? yeah. Yeah, but but going back to the graveyard shit, there was also um a cloud. Do you know the clown motel? Nah, what's fam, this? This what is, is the crazy shit. If what is I, this? If I ever go to Phoenix, fam, yeah, I'm going to the clown motel. I've been to Phoenix it. bare times, and you've never seen the clown motel. Yo, you know what? Hold what? on. When I was in Phoenix, and it was in the city. Yeah. Yo, okay, look, look. I would tell you story. Okay, I would okay. tell you story. So we were in Phoenix. We were waiting outside, like um, a library. This is like a yeah. famous library in there. Mm-hmm. And across the street, there's this like hotel. Yeah. It was like a hotel locked up, and there was this like crackhead girl like trying to like break in. It was what weird. What the fuck? I don't know, but it was just, it just caught my eye. Nothing scary yeah. happened, but I just got a weird vibe from it. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, if I show you pictures of, of the clown motel, yeah, it's like all colorful. There's a big statue of a clown. Oh like, shit! If you're afraid of clowns, there's fam, there's clown decorations in the room, like stuffy animals. Okay, tell me the story. Tell me the no, story. No, no, that, that's just that's it. it. Yeah, but then there was a guy on Twitter who posted because it's right beside a graveyard, mm. literally right beside it. And there was a guy at the motel, and he was taking a video, and he saw a seven foot clown walking oh, around shit. with a stick what the fuck? i'm like nah there's no way i'm going to that shit. yo okay so when i was in bahamas too i, I didn't tell you this part okay, either okay. but i was in bahamas and we went to this place it, it was like um fuck i forgot what it's called i think it's called the shrimp hole shrimp hole? it's called yeah it's called the shrimp hole okay. but it's called the shrimp hole because you can see shrimp in it and mm. it's like um it's a natural cavern it's like a spectacular yeah. thing to look at right yeah so we drive in and to get to the shrimp pole, yeah. you have to park at this abandoned church. Okay. And so we enter the abandoned church. Now, I didn't know it was a church. Uh-huh, yeah. I didn't know it was a church. And when we saw on the sign, it said the shrimp hole. Mm-hmm. I thought it said the shrimp hotel. So oh. I thought that big ass abandoned building was, <laughs> a, was abandoned hotel. That's yeah, what I thought, what right? So I'm like, all right. I gotta go pee. Yeah. <laughs> and you went bro, in? Bro, so I had to take a pee. No. Right? I had to take a pee, so I'm taking a pee. Yeah. Right? I don't think much of it. Uh-huh. We ended up not going to the shrimp pole. We just like looked around uh-huh. on like the, the abandoned um, building, right? Mm-hmm. We're looking around the abandoned building. Yeah. I'm like this place look, this doesn't look like a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So time goes by. We have dinner with um, our guides. <clears throat> we have dinner with them. And then they're like, Yo, did you guys check out the shrimp hole? The shrimp hole, right? And yeah, like, you're like, yeah, I just pissed it. Yeah, in. <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah, we we've been there. We've been, we were looking around, but we didn't get to look at the hole. But we looked around the building and stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, that building was actually a church, and a lot of kids died there. Oh, and there's fuck. graves of the kids there. Oh nah, and you pissed. I didn't piss on the grave. I okay, didn't. I was on the gonna grave. say. I was gonna say. Luckily, yeah. Luckily, I pissed on like a shrub near yeah. the entrance, and I didn't go deeper in. Oh my god! If you came, because there's like a graveyard there. No, if you told the story and you, <laughs> and you didn't piss on the shrub, right, there you no, go. Stop! 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 <laughs> no, don't ask, don't ask. Take that shit back. Take that shit back. <laughs> no, but if you told that story and you're like, nah, I peed on it, fam. <laughs> why would you? Why would you run a podcast with me in the same room? With the same series, that shit makes no sense. No, nah, no, nah, we're safe. Don't okay. worry, we're all good. We're all okay, good. good. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say Tabi Tabi Po though, oh. Oh. because I wanted more of the story. I want. I want to see. Shut what what else you can get? That's, <laughs> not, that's not, Don't call it, fam. Please don't call it. Because <laughs> nah, I'm actually Yo. worried. Yo, why the eyes move? No, no, no. You know, you know what's cool too. I think in um, uh, New York. Yeah. We should go there if, if we ever have the chance. Because mm. a lot of YouTubers go there. Why? Why New York? Because fam, it's an Airbnb, a cursed Airbnb. Mm. So I don't. I, it's called I think, Enslin Mansion. Enslin Mansion. So I I think it might be fake, but I don't know because I have never been there. Yeah. But if the person is is just marketing it as a haunted room and a haunted oh, mansion. What the fuck?
they're making so much bank right now because <laughs> Yo. everyone is visiting it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so the whole thing is like, there's one bedroom in there that's really haunted, and there's also an escape route. So just in case you see something, mm. there's access. There's like a quick stair. Oh, exit. for real? They made it just for that? Yeah, to like the first floor, so you can get out quick. Yo. And and I was watching because one of the big YouTubers I watch is HJ Evelyn. Yeah, yeah. They went for a YouTube video and they vlogged it. The crazy shit, fam. Yeah. When they were just randomly talking to the camera mm. in the parts of the video you see shadows no. moving chill, fam chill, 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 chill. moving but <laughs> they, they were good at the end so if yeah. we can actually visit it and see, maybe see if we, we find some fuck shit. So let's do it, it yeah. let's do yeah. it but yo someone sponsor us to go there fam. now we need somebody with us that will protect us yeah. like, <laughs> like that has yeah. I want somebody that will like protect us fam. oh no the, the owner is on speed dial so if you if you ever see something and you're very scared you yeah. call the owner they got like the the holy water and super yeah, soakers yeah, yeah. type they're of like, shit. They're like, ah, we're here, we're here. <laughs> Burn down the house. <laughs> Yo, I really want to go to, um, fuck, there's this place. I think it's in Ontario. No. I think, fuck, I forgot exactly where it is. It starts with a B. Okay, this right. place in Ontario. Yeah. Brantford. I think it's Brantford. Oh, I've heard of Brantford. There's, there's dead ass, like what you said, yeah. it's an Airbnb, but a haunted Airbnb. Yeah. It's just like a cottage though. Oh, oh, cottage is way worse. I would rather be in a hotel mm -hmm. than something in the woods. Because <laughs> I think what's scary about a cottage or someplace in the woods is <laughs> the bodies are probably buried there, bro. <laughs> More times, that's why it's haunted. Yeah, there's some shit buried there. Yeah, no, no. I, I've I've heard of stories also where in hotels, like there was a. I think a guy, I think it was in Romania too. Mm. So a guy was waiting for the elevator, right? Yeah. And all he heard was, um, was screaming, mm -hmm. like screaming like the, ah, oh, fuck. right. Yeah, and yeah. he was like, he was like, what the fuck's going on in the elevator? The elevator has never left the bottom floor mm. and it opened. There's no one in there. So what, what actually happened behind the hotel, a girl committed suicide. Oh, you know, and now whenever that elevator people are in that elevator, they say that the buttons press themselves. Oh shit! And they go up and down. So it's not necessarily in that elevator. Yeah, it's just around the around area. the area. Damn. I'm telling you. So even if it's not buried, buried, shit like spirits can come. That's kind of crazy, bro. So if like if you're just even by a cemetery or if you even just by like a murder zone, exactly. Like you can see some shit. Yes. Damn. You ever see that movie Pet Cemetery? No, what the fuck is that? Like never pets, heard about that? Like animals buried? Like Yeah, I never watch it. We should watch on the Discord, everyone. Okay, okay, let's yeah. watch it. Let's yeah, watch okay, it. Yeah. But I saw I saw like the trailer and it's about mm -hmm. this um this place where all these pets were buried. Yeah. Right? And the haunting happened because of those pets. <laughs> nah. some, some shit happened, right? And I think what happened was there was a way to bring your animal back to life, your pet back to life. Oh, no. Doing like a seance or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. We oh, got to watch right. it. I want to watch yeah. it first and then we can talk about nah, it more. That's fucked. You know what's crazy too? My friend's, my friend's, uh, I think family member died. Mm. And then I think randomly a dog came up to um, the door. Oh, I was like, yeah? what the fuck? And it had the leash and it had the initial of the Yo. past mother's first, first name. For real. Yeah, and it's randomly. This is random. Yeah. And like I say all the time, like whenever I see butterflies, I always say it's my grandma. Mm. Right? So, you know. Damn. There's a story Um, when I was having dinner with the guides, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say the story first. No, mm -hmm. I'm going to say I'm going to say my experience first and I'm going to tell you their story. Okay, okay, okay. So this is what happened. So we went to the snack bar, right? Mm -hmm. And it was like uh they serve burgers, hot dogs or whatever. It's like yeah. a little shack, right? Yeah. So we have we're having lunch and we notice, oh, there's a there's a little cat. There's a little yeah. cat there. Yeah, he's yeah. he's like the the cat of the shack. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So um the cat comes up to us like begging for food or whatever. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the the owner's like Louis, come back here, Louis, yeah. right? Because the cat's like annoying us, or whatever. Uh -huh, he, he's uh -huh. cool, he's cool. We're, we're chilling with Louis. That's all right, Louis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My mom, she's like, that's that's the name of uh, Lolo, no. Lolo Louis. No, yeah. and it was just it was just something special, like oh damn, Lolo yeah. Louis, right? And I think it's around the time where he might have passed, something like that. Yeah. But anyways, um, I'm having fat. Let's fast forward a couple of days. Fast okay, forward okay. a couple of days. Yeah. I'm having dinner with the gods uh-huh right and donnell shout out donnell she yeah. she told me this story how 
after dropping us dropping us off from fishing, mm-hmm. they were driving down this road. Okay. And she saw this white woman holding a cat in her arms. Yeah. Because I think the cat got hit by a car. Yeah. And she was telling this story and she didn't say who it was. She didn't say what cat it was, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm tying it back. Wait, if they're from where we were fishing, if they took that road, that must have meant that that's Louis. That's Louis. That's Louis got to run over, bro. What the fuck? So after they told me that story, I'm like, yeah. Damn, poor Louis, that's man. Fuck, bro. It's so weird how that ties in. Like you meet them one time, and then later on, you never know something yeah. could happen, right? Fam, it's the red thread. Mm. Like I said, you, is you think that's why? Like when when someone dies, you think they still roam around this earth just to say their final goodbyes? Like when do you think they finally reach heaven? That's a good question. That's yeah. a really good question, and that's been explored a lot in horror movies. <laughs> I mean, nah, but that's horror movies, though. That's. No, but I think when 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 they talk about it in horror movies, that's when we're able to have these like uh their theories on yeah. what would happen, right? Mm-hmm. And that's literally like the director's theories of what an afterlife would be or what a spirit would do, right? Yeah. So what I think, I think the spirits that are stuck, the spirits that are like here, still haunting, whatever, mm-hmm. are the spirits that they're they're stuck because they have unfinished business. Oh, that's a good theory. That's what I think. Yeah. I think unfinished business in a sense of there's revenge they have to yeah. s- still take on mm-hmm. or there's like um they're trying to look for somebody mm-hmm. and because they're looking and looking and looking, maybe they're stuck looking even though that person's already passed. No, that's that's a good one because you hear on all the the unsolved murders, mm-hmm. you know, if I got killed, right? Yeah. If I got killed in an unsolved murder fam, I'm staying and trying to get my revenge at best as possible, mm-hmm. you know? So maybe Jesus doesn't let you in heaven until you you forgive, mm, you know? Maybe, yeah, yeah. One of those. What I also think it is too, yeah. is what if your will, what if the power of your mind is so strong? Damn. Let's say you were, you were um, trying to save somebody. Yeah. You're trying to protect somebody, your loved one. Mm-hmm. And then you were killed while trying to, if you're trying to really hold somebody down and then like protect them from somebody trying to kill them. Yeah. What if your power, the your will, is what holds you here on Earth? That's okay. like that's like the whole thing that that keeps you stuck here is because your will to protect that person mm-hmm. it didn't go through, but you still died. But you still died. Yeah. So let's say you're protecting your sister. Yeah. Right. Somebody kills you in the act of you protecting your sister. Okay. But your spirit, your yeah. will is so strong. Okay. That it stays there. To try and fight, but it can't do anything. But it's still stuck there. Okay, it's okay. like stuck in motion. Okay, I get it. So it's like like adrenaline. So you know when you get when you get like hit by a punch, or mm. the, or like when a movie character gets shot. Yeah, and they're still kind of moving after, but then yeah, like, it's like the will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, in my head, I, I was thinking was the the half zombie when you, your your mind is like, no, I'm not gonna turn, so I mm-hmm. just stay in it. I think that's what it's like. Okay. Like the the power of the, because the mind is so powerful, right? Mm-hmm. If, if you really think about it, yeah. all life is is just the mind. Yeah, you don't know if any of this is real. It's just through your mind. Okay, stop. <laughs> no, that's dead fine. ass, that's dead fine. ass. Like you could, you could, you could literally be like dreaming right now. Mm-hmm. You could literally be like in a jar, mm-hmm. but it's just your mind that's making everything up. I could just be like a figment of your imagination. Yeah. So you know do you mean? think? So do you think if I told you? I'm gonna give you five years, and you gotta put your mind to it. Become a doctor, you can do it. I think. I think if you really put your mind to it, yeah. Yeah. I think anything's possible, bro. Know, yeah. Honestly, I think everything's possible. Yeah. Especially if you have like everything aligned. There was um in the Think and Grow Rich book, right? Mm-hmm. Fuck, I forgot the exact quote, but it's like everything, no matter what, there's an energy to it. Yeah. Like leaves falling to the ground on like a during the fall season. Mm-hmm. There's an energy that made that leaf fall to the ground. Yeah. Yummy? You know I mean? mm-hmm. Because it withered away and it fell. Yeah. No matter what, there was an intention of that leaf to fall. Mm. And there's an intention in anything we do. So the existence of this phone is an intention of creation, mm-hmm. right? Intention of, I want to make technology to do this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So you, you can say Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, that's their manifestation into physical. Yeah. No mm-hmm. matter what it is, everything in life is first. Yeah. In your mind. The energy to do. Yeah. Right? And then it becomes. Yeah. You know what's fucked? Because in the f- accounting is some 
program that barely anyone gets out of, right? Yeah. And I remember in first year, right? This guy was telling me, he's like, yo, bro, we were all in a friend group and we were just saying, there's like five, six people in it, right? Mm -hmm. And he was just telling me like, bro, half of us are not going to make it, bro. Like, Damn, what the fuck? Yeah, you said like, that? straight <laughs> off the rip. He's like, yo, like only the really smart people will make it. Mm. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I, the fact that all my friends either drop to a lower program and to, um, uh, what do you call this? Or just another one. Mm -hmm. And I'm still in it. That guy who told me it is in the lower program now. Oh, because why do you think he's he already went into yeah, that mindset of oh I'm gonna fail this like there's no way I'm making it. Mm -hmm. Fam, you think I'm the smartest one? No, I'm just gonna work harder than you. Yeah, that's and, all and that, it is. That's another yeah. one. That's another one. I, I don't think there's any like smart smart people. There is a few. Nah, there is. I okay, think okay. so. There, there is a few, but that's not me. Like yeah. I will work, 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 like outwork you until your talent doesn't work anymore mm -hmm. you know i think i'm the opposite Re what i think i'm the opposite where i know what i'm good at and i just do what i'm good at because i know what i'm good at no see <laughs> see no that's you can even tell in this podcast yeah you're already talented and gifted at the theory shit mm -hmm. me what do i do every episode i'm a research i'm a research yeah, yeah. to everyone who said i'm not a theory guy i became a theory guy why do yeah. you think because i have the drive you feel me yeah yeah so absolutely. anything is possible if you guys yeah any, yeah exactly anything everything, is everything is possible everything you know is what possible. they called me in the first three episodes you dumbass all you have to say is yes to carlos <laughs> i got theories now come to me you feel me come on yeah. man good shit good shit <laughs> no nah, but bro for me it was always especially when i was little yeah if i wasn't good at something i'll try yeah i'll try try but i know like if i don't have my um my heart set on doing something okay, yeah. i'm not gonna waste my time i'm gonna put all of my effort into something i love to do mm. so you know your strengths and weaknesses it's not just that i know myself yeah i know i know exactly like when it comes time to this during this hour yeah i'm not gonna want to do this okay or if it comes down to this this will drive me at that moment you know what i mean i mm. know i know how i'm a, i know how i will react mm -hmm. to situations i'm gonna be put in okay so i i, I analyze i analyze that i yeah. analyze all that shit yeah, yeah that's true but i i feel like it's hard still in the teenager years to find your strengths and weaknesses how how did mm. you find your shit did you just go try out try everything try everything i tried everything okay. i lit i was gonna be an engineer bro i know yeah. <laughs> take that in <laughs> which i don't believe yeah I, I was gonna be engineered like i was studying <laughs> all of that shit yeah <laughs> you know yeah i tried i really Okay, this is one of my favorite stories mm -hmm. because I tell my sister this all the time. Okay. And she was she was talking about dropping one of her classes, right? Because yeah. uh, I think it was chemistry or something. It was too hard and she had a really bad teacher. Yeah. And I, th I thought back and like, I remember I was in... I was in summer school. Did I tell this before? I was no, in summer I school so. and I was taking like a math oh, course. Oh yeah, you did, you did. Yeah, I was taking a math yeah. course and it was John, me, Miles, mm -hmm. Shrook was in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, we're all in that class uh -huh. and... Little by little, like one week, Shrook's gone. One week, Miles yeah, gone. Yeah. You see it. One week, um, fucking John's gone, right? Yeah. And I'm like, nah, dog. I'm not gonna give. Even though I'm not doing good, even though I'm not fucking, I'm barely passing, mm -hmm. or maybe not even passing. Yep. I'm gonna find a way to at least like finish. Yeah. Because I don't want to start something, bring my bring my energy there, and then not finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do everything I can, right? Yeah. yeah. So I did, and shout out, um, shout out SV. He was there SV too. Yeah. Shout Sean, out Sean, Sean, yeah. Sean was there. Yeah. <laughs> he was in that class. That's where I met him. Small world. Yeah, still. yeah. So I fucking, I just worked at it, bro. I just worked mm -hmm. at it, and I said, okay, I'm just gonna finish it, even if I fucking fail. Mm -hmm. I'm at least gonna put my energy to try and pass. Yeah. And I passed. No, that's I good. passed. I didn't give up. Yeah. I didn't use that course. Obviously, I didn't use that you just course. Used it as a lesson, as experience. Exactly, I use it as a lesson. I use it as experience, and I use it as a kicker of okay, if I put my will into it, mm -hmm. it will happen. Yeah, you know no, what I mean? I'm telling you because I, I like what my sister's doing because she's taking a bunch of courses. So it's mm -hmm. like physics, accounting. Yeah, shit yeah. Like that. I didn't take accounting in high school, so it was a hit or miss. Mm -hmm. If I didn't like this, I'm fucked. I'm, <laughs> thank God I liked it. <laughs> no, but you can change. Yeah, you can I know. still change, but you spend money. Spend money for it, mm -hmm. right? But even though she she might not be doing good in one, it teaches her this is not my route. Yeah. Don't make the same shit that mistakes that I did. We're just going blind. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna give the realest advice right now because I know a lot of kids finishing high school or yeah. planning out their career. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Instead of rather looking at a job, because I know a lot of people do this. I know even maybe you have done this too. Yeah. You look at a career, you look at a career path, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't look at the day to day. You just look at the title. You look at the pay mm -hmm. and you look at the respect. Am I right? Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. you look at, let's say an accountant and be like, oh, he's a very smart person. He's getting a lot of money. He's very well respected. Look at a doctor, very well respected, blah, blah, blah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they pass off on other jobs because, oh, oh um, I don't want to be a, a sanitation engineer because yeah. of this stuff, whatever. Mm -hmm, yeah. I think rather than looking at, I want to be a vet. I want to be, a, I want to be this because I get to do this, this, this. Look at the day to day. You're hundred percent right. Look at the day to day. Looking, look at like accounting, yeah. right? That's a lot of paperwork. Yeah. That's a lot of sit down, let me mm -hmm. do this, right? Uh, yeah, that's so funny you said that because that uh, is actually the realest advice. Because mm -hmm. when um I was in the second year and I was still questioning my shit, mm -hmm. I, there's YouTube videos. I, I searched up accountant day in the life. Yeah, you have and to look I'll, at that. Yeah. You have to look at that shit because you don't want to put yourself into, oh. into a career path. You don't even know what yeah. the day-to-day -day is like. You yeah. feel me? You're right because when, when I did look up uh, accountant, starting salary that's when you change your salary. mind <laughs> that's when you change your mind and I, th I think a lot of kids because of their parents influence because of whatever yeah. they have this preconception of what the job will be like yeah. and it's just like a relationship you have a preconception of what it's going to be like with that girl mm -hmm. what it's going to be like working this job it's the yeah. same shit I know. you you have this idea this fairy tale in your mind yeah. don't have this preconception go ahead and see what it's actually like. Yeah. Because when you go ahead and see what it's actually like, that's when you'll know if it's right for you. Yeah, I know. I know a friend that always asks me, yo, what are you going to do after school? You think I know, fam? Like, <laughs> no, I'm going to just take it how it is. And then she's like, oh my God, I, uh, I might not even get a job. I might I'm telling her, fam, there's so much ways in this world to make money. Yeah, that's, find, not, that's not a problem. You'll find something. Like, yeah. don't even stress about it. You'll find a job. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the right thing will come to you at the right time. You just have to take it. The, the problem is, is when people have that, um, they're on that frequency. Yeah. That's when it doesn't come to them though. Yeah, I know. That's what, that's the sad part. That's the sad part. When they, when they think that mm -hmm. they're not on that wavelength where it will happen to them. Yeah. That's the problem. Y you know what I've always wanted to do? I wanted to, to go to, you know how those black churches always have the, that preacher? Yeah. I swear, because it's a different from the church I go to and like the black I, church. I've been to a Christian church. Bro. Yeah, I've been to, it's live. Yeah, it's so live. Like I remember there was one where there was a guy, there was a priest, right? Yeah. And there was a skipping rope, right? Mm -hmm. So the girl was like, the guy was like, okay, uh, go. Are you ready to go in? Mm -hmm. And the girl was just waiting, waiting, waiting. And then she missed it. Mm -hmm. And then the preacher was like, no, if God gives you the opportunity, you have to be ready to go in. Yeah. And then he jumps in and he <laughs> oh, starts skipping rope. He's like, see how I was ready to take the opportunity from God? Yeah. Like, like that that is so live mm. i think yo i wanna my my lola said this all the time yeah like she always said you have a really good voice to to be a priest or a preacher yeah no, I guess <laughs> man maybe maybe one day i'll give it a try <laughs> this guy's gonna yo carlos's resume is gonna be so fun <laughs> podcast podcast or what else looking designing designer priest <laughs> priest no, I, oh I stepped into all freaking industries, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. And the, and the craziest thing too, if you guys are looking for jobs too, what I don't get always is how do you get a job without experience? How, how, no, you can get, ex yeah, you get experience. Yeah, but it's funny because most of the jobs after school, it's like you need four years of computer science experience and mm. shit like that. So I'm like, bro, that's, that's fucked. That's why, that's why I step ahead. If y'all have the opportunity to mm -hmm. do like co-op, in your yeah, school. I did co-op still. You go up and then you get experience. You get that experience yeah. while you're in high school. Yeah, exactly. Because all, all you need to know is how to approach an interview. Once you're good at talking, you can get any job you want. Mm. And as I dropped co-op as soon as I got my first job, because I don't want to pay for more dumb shit. I know how to get a job now. Mm -hmm. I paid my $500. I'm out. You paid for co-op? Yeah, you have to. I thought you get paid. No, no. You pay like the, the first fee to get like the, the, the whole site with the jobs and shit. Oh, what the so hell? it's easier access, but then you get paid from the job. Oh, okay. So it balances. Yeah. Uh, I guess it balances yeah. it out. Yeah, 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 but that for sure. But it makes more sense to me. Like you just go ahead and put yourself in the position, or at least go and try a shadow. Mm. I feel, this. This is a big thing. It's like the the way the system and education works. Yeah. I always bash on school. I don't know. Why I always bash on school. <laughs> but the way it works, why don't we just put everybody that wants to work a certain job to shadow somebody in that field? Why do we have to put 
generalize everything, put them into classes, teach them shit they don't even need to know, and then give them an opportunity at the job where they have to learn that shit up again anyway. Yeah. Get me? Instead of putting, let's say you're an accountant, mm -hmm. I give a student that wants to be an accountant with yeah. you, he learns how to be an accountant. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. Why is school not like that? Okay, the whole system is fucked up. First of all, we're only... Our, Half the people are paying for student loans, and then once you get a job, Josh, that's why I'm so pissed. That's why I'm so pissed yeah. because we pay thousands of dollars. For student that's loans. enough money to pay these people to teach us like that. Yeah, but they're not doing that. That's so stupid to me. Hey man, ask them. I don't know. That's so stupid to <laughs> I'm me. I'm not. I'm not the board. <laughs> Fuck, bro. No, it actually cheeses in my soul because because look, if we're paying thousands of dollars, yeah, yeah, yeah. feel me? That's enough money to give to somebody that's working the job yeah. to take on an apprentice and teach him that way. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a way more valid. If you want experience, that is, that's experience yeah. right there. That's what the workforce needs. Yeah. But I think what it is, it's a put everybody in here, make them spend money on this course, make them not like it, mm -hmm. find a different course, make them spend money on that shit, mm -hmm. make them move to another one, Facts. and yep. keep spending money. So you know what's coming soon? Jumpers jump trade school, man. <laughs> we're just we're just gonna hire a bunch of like professionals. Students want to come university. in university. <laughs> Boom, we got that would make bands, fam. Yo, <laughs> I'm telling you. No, honestly, like I think if you even look at some some people that are working right now, yeah, some of the best people in their jobs are from people that learn through a mentor. Yeah. Yummy. Mm -hmm. And that's how it always is, in my opinion. I think the best, the best people at their crafts mm -hmm. just have the most experience because they learn from somebody with all that experience. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what I think it is. Like if you if you graduate with only like oh yeah the mitochondria is the powerhouse of this yeah all that theory shit and you can't put it into real life dog put it even to like we'll put it on a very simple standpoint look mm -hmm. look you take a sensei yeah that's that's learned years and years of martial arts training right mm -hmm, yeah and then you put him with a student yeah that student will become a gr very great fighter yeah. now you take the same student put him into a zoom class mm -hmm. Of okay, this is this is how you fight, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is how you fight, guys. You oh know what I mean? God. It's not the same shit. It's not. The sensei will tell you every single experience he's been through and how to move through it. Yeah, and he will learn way better. I'm telling you. Do you have like a really close uh, relationship with your sensei? With my coaches? Yeah. Nah, not even. Yeah, no. I'm telling you because whenever I go to tournaments, yeah, he's always telling me some new shit. And like, I remember there was one where the, their team was an all black team, so they yeah. already were racially profiled, right? Mm. And to make it worse, they all wore bandanas to their fight, mm. so they were like the red bandana crew. <laughs> yeah, there, and they got kicked out of every single why? tournament. Why? Why? I don't Just know. Because because they were beating up everyone, and they didn't like that shit. Oh, you know? Wow. But, it, but it's the cool stories that he put on me that. That are like that are like I can take and tell it to like you guys. Mm, I think um, Denzel Washington he mm -hmm. said something. It was either an interview or like a, a speech, or whatever. Right? Yeah. He was saying there's a reason certain directors direct those movies. Like there's a reason you have Martin Scorsese directing all the mafia movies. Mm -hmm. There's a reason you have a black director directing the black movies. Is because they know certain things that a regular average person wouldn't know. They know how, I think he said, a black person knows how a hot comb feels on a Sunday morning. Yep. Facts. I don't know what that feels like. Yeah. You don't know what that feels like, right? Yeah. Same with Martin Scorsese. He has friends in the mob. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> That's how he knows all of this stuff. <laughs> That's, That's how he's able to give the best form of art yeah. of that, or at least give the best, um, the best piece of, piece of art that matches to that culture because mm -hmm. yep. he's part of that culture. Facts. That's why. Um. Uh. What, what's that rich Asian movie? Oh, the crazy rich Asians. Uh, was that was all directed from Asians, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, that's yeah. why it was a blessed movie because there's the culture is there. Yeah, and then you can tell when movies are sh are totally shit. Yeah, but yeah, when, yeah, from like a white person. <laughs> yeah, and, and there's sometimes there's sometimes um, like it's still funny. Like look at Fresh Off the Boat. Oh yeah, because Fresh Off the Boat isn't very cultured, but it's still funny. But it's, it's funny. Like it's it's like it's comedic. Like, yeah, yeah, it's comedic. <laughs> I guess it's it's still good, but like it's not a good um, I guess representation. Yeah, yeah it's I not know. the best representation, and yeah. that's why, that's why the OG. Wait, what's his name again? Um, who? What, what's what's the guy's name? The kid in in Fresh Off the Boat. Oh, the big one. Yeah, what's his name? I fucking don't know. Freddy? Is it? Fre oh yeah, Freddy. Freddy. Hold on. I think that's his name in the show though. No, he it's it's based off a real person. Oh shit! 
Eddie. Oh, it's Eddie. Eddie. Eddie, Eddie Wong. Eddie. Oh, Eddie Wong. Eddie Wong is a real person. Yeah, yeah, because this was all literally yeah. all his. Now his take story. this in. Eddie Wong mm-hmm. sold like I think he made a movie first and and uh, his uh, biopic or something. Yeah, yeah. His story, he sold it to that network to make that show. Uh huh. First couple seasons. Uh huh. He said, "I hate this. Like really? this, this is not what I imagined. Like this is nothing like my life." Yeah. And he said he sold it off, but he he wants nothing to do with that show. Mm, really? Yeah. That he happens a lot. Cause show. I I think Dave Chappelle's show. Oh, fuck. Chappelle show? Yeah, no, Chappelle show got canceled somewhere, and he said, "No, I want to air it somewhere," and that's why he got on Netflix. Is that why? No, no, I don't think is Chappelle show on Netflix right now. I think so. I think it is right now. Oh no! Nah, there's actually, a whole there's a whole other thing that happened with yeah, that. Look, yeah. look, look, Chappelle show actually. He ended up selling it to a network, right? Yeah. And they stopped giving Dave Chappelle the rights or like his full royalties. Oh, okay. That's why he didn't want to air it. And he, he, um, I think Netflix got rights to, to, to play it. Yeah. Right. And because Dave Chappelle was like, yo, Netflix, can you guys take that off? Cause I don't even get royalties from exactly, that. Exactly. Exactly. Netflix, because of that relationship with Dave Chappelle, mm-hmm. like, all right, no worries. No worries, yeah, Dave. Shit happens. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Soon our own Netflix and show. and I think it's important. It's important to know like when um okay, even though it inconveniences you at this time mm-hmm. because it's this person yeah. knowing their respect and knowing how it'll affect your relationship. That's important to keep in mind. Yeah, I mean mm-hmm. that's why that's why um sometimes when you're doing like these business deals to mm-hmm. um Zoom yeah I will see you you try to keep a good relationship because maybe later in the future they can help us exactly. You never know you're gonna see yeah. somebody later yeah. and you never know like. Yo, wait, is that is that Carlos that at the thing. bar? Yup. And then <laughs> boom, I got another yeah, a, a and million then, dollar offer for you. Yeah, and then he gets a notification. Yo, uh, there's a Marvel character featuring we need an Asian. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my goodness. You know what I mean? Like you never know. Yeah. Um, things will align, the stars will align at yeah. that moment in time. True. And because you know that person, you get in on it. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's how a lot of people have success is when those crazy stories of like perfect timing. Yep. I know. Do you know Lucas Sabat? Yeah. He met his model agency through a hotel elevator. Oh really? Like he, yeah. He went in for a fashion show, and then the the uh the for the, the CEO yeah. was like, "Yo, I like those pants." Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he was like, "Yeah, these are like Mason Margellas." Y- yeah. And then he was like, "Oh, do you want to model for us?" Mm. Hell yeah. Even even you know Fesco in in Euphoria. Oh yeah. Fesco Angus Cloud was actually homeless. Really? Yeah, he was on the street, and he was just a random person. This agent came and discovered. He just. No, she not. just, I think it was a girl. She just like found him yeah. and she was like, hey, you know what? You you fit like a perfect character. Yeah. I think we could use in the show. No. Gave him her number and he was like, even, uh, he was like, I don't want you to know what I want your number for, right? Yeah. And he said himself that for some reason he had the intuition to call back. Oh my and it landed God. him that role in Euphoria. Yeah. And nobody could play that character better for than him. For sure, for sure. Nobody could play All it better. All the characters were so perfect. Mm-hmm. Even though I haven't finished it, yeah. what I have right now is perfect. Yeah, finish that though. Finish <laughs> it. It's bet, good, it's bet. good. Even like Javon and yeah. like all those people. Yes, fam. Perfect, bro. I know. Perfect. I know. But yeah. Okay, we'll end it there. Facts. We are running out of time. But thank you everyone for watching this episode of Jump or Jump Podcast. Yes, make sure you hit the links in our bio, follow us on Instagram, comment, like, subscribe, all that good yep, stuff. Yeah, make sure to watch on Apple, Spotify, all of that. And yeah, jump or jump out. Deuces.